back at the lab. It's feeding time for the newest member of Team Strike Force, the venomous stonefish. It sucks down its dinner with vacuum force. He is a guts. It always makes me jump when they go boom. It's a very fast motion. This is the world's most venomous fish, and you can die if you stand on one. Anti-venom exists for stonefish as well, and the team helped make it, but industry status quo is to kill the fish to get the venom, a limited Ooh. supply of venom and a wasted life. So Richard and Jamie decide to find a way to farm stonefish. This has really never been done before. In the past, they've caught stonefish and killed them to extract the venom. Now what we're after is being able to milk them, the fish are then still alive. We can ranch them here in the venom lab, re-milk them a couple of weeks later, and we've got a continuous supply of venom. But first, we need to work out how the venom comes from the venom glands and out through the spines. They want to milk the stonefish without harming it, but first need to record how the fish delivers its venom. Now, this all happens so quick. Richard's going to take some high-speed video footage so we can slow it down and work out the exact mechanism behind this. They are attempting to recreate a person's foot standing on a stonefish. Amazingly, the stonefish can live out of the water for 10 hours. So just squeeze it down. Yeah, I think you just go down. OK, you ready? Oh, God, yeah, OK. One, two, three. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Look at that. <laughs> uh, that's oh, like it's that's continuous. A, yeah, this looks like it's coming out of the end of a gun. Pressure on the venom sacs under the spiked skin atomizes the toxic liquid into the air and deep into its victim. It also has lots of thorns on its side, which are all too easy to rub up against. <laughs> That's one very oh. upset fish. Yeah. Oh, and he's got um, a perculent spines, which you didn't Ouch. tell me about, did you? That's mm. gonna hurt. You're not wrong. So whose smart idea was this? Yeah, just give me 30 seconds to get over the pain. Jamie has managed to scratch his hand on the side of the world's most venomous fish. Jamie is feeling intense pain. But lucky for him, he scratched his hand on a non-venomous spike. There's um, big spines on the side of the cheek. They're not venomous. We know that if you put your, your hand under hot water, it decreases the pain. Pain is going away, which is good. Jamie, it's not that bad. You're hanging on to it next time, then. I'm the camera. It's not helping. Good stonefish. It feels like burning hot pain. Searing hot pain. Come on, we've got work to do. Mummy. Cool. OK. So again, two, three. Oh, that goes. <laughs> We've seen how the venom comes steaming out down along the spines of the fish and gets atomized into the air. We need to now catch it somehow. Now, Rich has come up with this really great idea, high-tech little piece of rubber on the end of a beaker and a rubber band. What we're going to do is push that over the spine and see if we can't actually capture the venom inside that. I hate it when they do that. <laughs> You're not even hanging on to him. Hold yeah. it still I've this got time. The spine. Yeah, I can. Try and. Yep. Ready? Set. Go. Oh, some shot out then. Did you get that? 